So now let's talk about the component design pattern. So it's a structural design pattern that lets you to compose multiple objects into a tree structure. So uh, we we already talk about the uh, Unreal Engine gameplay framework and we can use these components and attach any component to, to any actor or any pawn or any character. So these are the three main components that we will use. Like for example, an actor component, it's a reusable piece of functionality can be added to any actor uh, we will uh, i will show you uh, after this slide so uh, scene components it's handle all the transformation that can be manipulated manipulated so primitive component everything is can be rendered and handle collision so these are all the components that uh, the uh, Epic guys provide you and it's already built for you so you can use these components it's already for you and you can use your own components I, I will show you in, in a minute but before that let me go to this site uh, and uh, talk about this game design uh, game design uh, game programming pattern so in the component design pattern he uh, make a game object it's similar to like unity if you get to the unity uh, everything right here is a, is a game object so a, a game object is can be composed from many components like for example a camera component or audio listener for or physics or anything can be attached to and, and alter the behavior of your class so this is the component like for example like he uh, describes uh, and uh, show us like uh, this could be a game object and I can attach a collision type or rendering type or any for a physics uh, simulation input component and so on and so forth so in the example like he shown uh, comes of this the player class and this is all the code related to the movement and updates inside your level so after that he made uh, an input class so this is an input component this is the class of input component it can be attached to any actor for example uh, yes he mentioned this class but it could be a generic a generic class that you can attach you can pass this as an actor, a actor, for example, in Unreal, and switch on the controller and see the velocity and move him in the level. So after that, in the class itself, he pass in and create a private input component called input, and from the input as a, a constructor on the update on the update method, it takes a, a, a reference of the actor itself, so he can make this component. So this component, it's a reusable piece of functionality, it can be used in many uh, actors, uh, not limited to this actor itself. Uh, another one is, I think, a graphics component, for example, handling all the graphics in the sprite. Uh, another one, input component input component and so on and so forth so many many things you can use and extend the physics component for example handling all the physics uh, the structure and instructor and so on and so forth so uh, this is a game object okay I and mean, a game object take an input component the constructor take an input component a class a physics component a class and a graphics component class the same workflow i believe is, is, is inside unity you can attach more than one component to the uh, to the class to the object itself so uh, the same rule applies to unreal so we already see a player this is a player inherited from the uh, player it's in a character and a character uh, you can attach any piece of functionality these actors uh, components you can make an actor component or a C component or a primitive component uh, these are a scene component these are a primitive component handle all the transformation collision and, and rendering uh, and the anything beneath this this line called an actor component anything beneath this line is actor component it doesn't have any transformation or any information that uh, by default epic provide this as i told you before this is edit in c++ you can edit that in blueprint you can delete it you can disable it you but you can delete uh, delete that uh, it's in character movement components it had all the information necessary information for moving the character and uh, as i told you uh, for acceleration and the acceleration and jumping swimming and so on and so forth this is one 
I created this one so I will show you later when we go to the pool design, uh, pool design pattern I will show you how to make an actor component and attach to this character but for example we can make another one like I can go to the this and make an actor component call it BP inventory inside this actor component I, I can make multiple functions and variables it will be uh, an actor component and it's it can be attached to any actor for example let's make add item remove item for example so so later on when i go to this class i can go and search for inventory i will show it will pop up in the custom and it will pop up and show you pb inventory this is my just made an actor component i can drag this and can call this function like add item okay and each component itself each component has its owner i can get owner and this is reference to the actor itself this one it, it, i can reference to this actor from anywhere and I cast this to the specific actor this actor itself so uh, yes, it's a reusable piece of functionality you can use and attach to any actor or, or, or any character or, or any or any pawn. So this is very useful. All these components are pre-built for you. So this is already built for you and you can use your own component. So for example, I make an inventory component. You can make another component called, for example, BP um, player skill component for example player skill component and later on i can go to the player and uh, call for player skill component this is will handle uh, uh, all the skill uh, player the skill uh, ability and and so on and so forth maybe you have a the ability to push on pull objects in your scene you can ha uh, handle this and later on you want to pass this uh, actor component to other uh, another actor you can just by going add and, and there uh, there it will be in this menu so it's not limited to this class it will be a separated object a separated object okay so this is the actor component this is the components in general and the terms of components of design patterns inside unreal so uh, that's it and see you in the next video